the Bible declares that he prevailed not against God, God. that this is not the end. It means that there is no more repentance in the grave. Pray that our eyes will be opened for us to see the strategy of the end. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Painting is being so remorseful and sorry for what we have done that we will not do it and again. Cried out to him for forgiveness, he would have already forgiven you of your sins. Satan is our accuser and he keeps tracks of everything that we right. have done. He wrong. washes away all our sins. Exactly. It is the detergent that is able to remove all stains. Today I am going to talk a bit about the great dragon and how keeping the commandment of God attracts the enemy, right? So today, before going any further, I will be praying and as I would always say, take the time out to pray as I pray because our week has a tendency to be very hectic and it's most time causes us to forget to pray so with that being said let us go into prayer bless the name of lord heavenly and glorious god we praise thy name almighty god as the song declares that we lay our crowns and we worship you mighty god you alone is worthy to worship and adore almighty god you are indeed our victorious and triumphant god there is none like the almighty god from beginning to the end oh god you have proven to be the ancient of days the alpha and omega the god of yesterday today and forever and because of that lord we glorify you almighty god and thank you to be the god that never changes almighty god the god that is merciful and gracious throughout time almighty god you are wonderful you are excellent oh god great are you lord and greatly to be praised from the rising oh god to the coming down you are the same heavenly father we come to you one more time and we ask father that you will forgive us of our sins oh god that you will purify our hearts and our mind oh lord god we have transgressed the for you in each day almighty God but today we repent oh God remorsefully of our sins almighty God of all what we would have done oh father presumptuously almighty God in thy sight I pray right now oh God that even as we are going into this video that you will open our hearts oh God to receive your word in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ these almighty God and other mercies we ask of thee in this moment in Jesus name I pray and we say amen and amen at this time I just wanted to take that time out to just worship the Lord to just give him some praise to give him the glory and the honor that is due unto him you can even pause at this moment and just glorify the lord pause this video and tell the lord thanks for all what he has done the bible would have reminded us on many occasions that we should think on the things that will cause us to glorify the lord so can we just do that for this it, right so let us read from revelation 12 in reading from verse 7 now it says and there was war in heaven michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found more in heaven and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent 
called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his, of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of his testimony. And they love not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, and she might fly into the wilderness into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and at and times, and half a time, from the face of the serpent. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened up, opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wrath with was wrath with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. This is a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, "Praise the Lord and thanks be to God." Today we would have known that we have an accuser, which is the devil, and I'm going to break that down for you. An accuser is a person who claims that someone has committed. An offense or done something wrong and it could be something that is done morally wrong something that is illegal something that is unkind right so we get to understand that the enemy keeps record of everything that we do that is wrong right which is why when we are about to do something good or especially when we have turned over our lives to god we have a tendency to be reminded of the things that we have done wrong right and a lot of times the bible would have reminded us do not condemn yourself because you are now a believer of jesus christ and the scriptures would have reminded us that there is no condemnation to those which are in Jesus Christ. The Bible declares in St. John 3 and verse 16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, should not perish, right, but have everlasting life. And then it later speaks about how there is no condemnation in those who are in him so i'm saying all of this to say that when you have no believe in jesus christ accepted him as your personal savior it is the accuser the devil that will come to you and remind you that last week you would have fornicated last week you would have told a lie yesterday you would have steal yesterday you would have done something that doesn't um line you up with the word of God but it's for us to remember that in Christ Jesus of course we're not uh, taking his grace for granted but it is us understanding that repenting is being so remorseful and sorry for what we have done that we will not do it again so the very fact that we have believed and we have come to Christ and cried out to him for forgiveness he would have already forgiven you of your sin so now that we know that the enemy is our accuser the devil Satan is our accuser and he keeps tracks of everything that we have done wrong it is for us to live in the word and know that God wipes away all our sins right he washes away all our sins and i think when you read micah or malachi i don't remember which one of them the bible would have reminded us that he is the refiner's fire and the fuller's soap and the bible would have and when you read that in the bible and you look up the 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 scripture or you look up the definition of the fuller soap it says that it is the detergent that is able to remove all stains right i will get 
understand that within our spiritual life we are we are clothed in white raiment bless the name of the lord but when we sin then we get to understand that there are stains upon our clothes that shows us that yes we have done something wrong but when the blood of jesus comes and washes us from head to toe as the detergent as the fuller soap that we get to understand that we are now clean we are now cleansed from head to toe right so the song would have declared what can wash away my sins nothing but the blood of Jesus what can make me whole again what can make me new again nothing but the blood of Jesus mighty God the song declares oh precious is that flows that makes me white as snow no other fount I know hallelujah nothing but the blood of Jesus bless the name of the Lord so we get to understand that we can depend upon the blood of Jesus you know to keep us at that place of mercy all right to keep us at the throne of grace bless the name of the Lord so it continues and it says that this great dragon was in heaven and he wanted to overthrow our God but of course Michael went ahead and fight against the angels and this dragon that turned against God and he was thrown out the Bible declares that he prevailed not against God and I just want to tell the people of God I just want to tell the children everyone that is watching this that same as all oh, the enemy wasn't able to prevail in heaven the enemy cannot prevail in your life because you have Jesus Christ and the Bible declares that all power and authority was given unto him and know that we have him on the inside we now understand that our power and authority bless the name of the Lord is within us mighty God so the word declares that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world hallelujah so the Bible is reminding us that greater is he that is within us Jesus Christ than he that is in the world which is the devil right because the bible went ahead and declared that and the great dragon was cast out right the old serpent called the devil and the satan which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him bless the name of the Lord so we know that the enemy the devil is now in the earth the Bible says or there's a song that says that he goeth to and fro in the earth seeking yes so the Bible declares that he's around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour so when I say when the Bible says that the the devil his ear on the earth that's exactly what he's doing and there's a scripture in st. John that would have reminded us that this devil is here trying to kill to steal and to destroy most of all he's trying to do these three things and I pray that our eyes will be opened for us to see the strategy of the enemy anything that is self-righteous anything that causes us to feel as if it is good for ourselves and our flesh it is bound to destroy us it is bound to destroy us right so <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly go through where it says woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time right so the enemy was thrown was thrown out of heaven and he is going throughout the earth seeking whom he can get to destroy and the thing is that the enemy the devil has no other chance 
to make it to heaven. His judgment is already sure that it is hell, right? But we get to understand that he wants to bring people with him. He wants to bring us with him and he is wrathful or wrathful because one, we always have another chance until death because the Bible declares that after death, comes the judgment which means that there is no more repentance in the grave people of God we have to understand that we have to make it right with God while we are alive we have to keep his commandment while we are alive so that in the grave we are able to still be sheltered and safe in the arm of God bless the name of the Lord and the second verse said that when there's a day come when the portals of heaven will ring or open and then our souls you know will awaken those who are dead in christ right and we would have been at a place where we are safe and we are sheltered in him right so today i just want to let you know that it is the word it is the holy spirit bless the name of the lord that when he begins to blow that trumpet that our souls will align with that trumpet bless the name of the lord with the sound of that trumpet bless the name of the lord and when our souls are our spirit aligns then we will be awakened then we will beckon unto that call and we will all be risen up to meet him in the air today i want to say people of god that this is not the end this is not the end but the end is coming the Bible would have declared that perilous times shall come bless the name of the Lord and we see where the Bible would have reminded us you know in scriptures that nations will fight against nation children will war against their parents people will not be able to think even be able to meditate on the things that are good and righteous bless the name of the Lord because the earth would have been so overtaken by destruction and by the devil but today I want to remind someone someone that even with these things happening it is still not the end bless the name of the lord it will get worse and it will get more tragic but today we are able to be sheltered in the arms of god we're able to be safe and secured from all alarms from all harms of this earth we're able to be protected Bless the name of the Lord. We're able to be protected by the Lamb of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Bless the name of the Lord because our aim as Christians is to be safe in the arms of God, is to be secured by the lord bless the name of the lord so the enemy knows that it is a short time so he tries to deceive you he tries to manipulate you he tries to do things to get you frustrated to take your peace and your joy but i decree and declare today over the people of god that he will not take your joy that he will not take your peace but in everything your 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 joy and your 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 foundation will be rest in the arms of god in the word and the commandment of god bless the name of the lord so i'm just going to quickly go through in verse 17 where it says and the dragon was wrath with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of god and have the testimony 
testimony of Jesus Christ. Today, I'm here to let you know that the testimony of Jesus Christ is Him coming and dying for our sins so that we can have life and have it more abundantly just to shorten the testimony. Bless the name of the Lord. But you would have to meditate upon the lifestyle and all of Jesus Christ for you to all understand how intentional the, the, the plans of God was in order for us to receive righteousness, power and authority over the enemy to trample upon serpents and scorpions. Bless the name of the Lord. So today the Bible declares that he's making war with us. He's making war with us. So of course we have to war. We have to war. When we become Christians, we are no soldiers. When you read Timothy, it I'm going to read it real quickly and end. In 2 Timothy 2, it says and verse 2 is and and the things that um that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also though therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of jesus christ no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life bless the name of the lord that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier and I'm just going to stop right there and say it to you guys that know that you have become soldiers of God we do not entangle ourselves in the things of this world meaning we don't get caught up in the, the the pride of life we don't get caught up in the unrighteous livings and the revelings bless the name of the lord but what we do is stay steadfast because we have been chosen by the lord and savior jesus christ right so today people of god i'm just here to remind you all that the enemy is a deceiver and we ought to keep the commandment of god Hey guys, know that we are able to be sheltered in the arms of God. We're able to be overcomers through Jesus Christ. The Bible declares in the same verse that we overcome through the blood of Jesus and through the testimonies. But guys, have a blessed day. Have a blessed day in the word of God. Be blessed guys.